We're live. All right, sergeants, we begin recordings. PC recording is underway. Cloud recording is up. Backup is rolling. Sergeant Leonardo, you may begin the opening. Good morning, and welcome to the New York City Council remote hearing on the Committee on Housing and Buildings. At this time, we ask that all council members and staff turn on their video for verification purposes. Please place any and all electronic devices to silent or vibrate to minimize disruptions. Mr. Chair, we're ready to begin. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Cornegy, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to hold a vote on a bill related to tenant data privacy. We see these systems in residential buildings all over the city, key fobs, keypads, or even facial recognition technology, taking the place of traditional mechanical keys. While it's exciting to see the city's housing stock come into the 21st century, improvements to residential buildings should always be made with the tenant in mind. With all the convenience that key fobs or other keyless entry systems offer, there's a risk that tenants and their guests might, be, might have their private information put to use without their authorization. Currently, there are, no vote, there are virtually no laws on the books to protect the privacy of tenants and their guests' data. If a property owner or manager wants to use a keyless entry system <coughs> excuse me, that collects or generates data, the city should ensure that neither landlord nor the companies that install or operate these systems get to use any data collected, collected from them to harass tenants or to take other kinds of adverse actions against tenants. Tenants shouldn't have to comp compromise their privacy or security in exchange for convenience. This bill is one step towards ensuring that privacy and security are paramount. Proposed intro number 1760A, sponsored by Council Member Levine, would establish certain restrictions on the collection and use of data generated or collected in connection to the use of a keyless entry system in a multiple dwelling, and will require landlords to provide tenants with a written privacy policy regarding the keyless entry system. Among other things, this bill will set limits on the kind of data that these systems are allowed to collect and will require the consent of tenants and their guests to collect this data. This bill would also establish guidelines for destroying, removing, or an not anonymizing any data collected by use in a keyless entry system. Proposed intro 1760A would also limit sharing data collected with third parties. I'm joined today uh, by council members, which unfortunately I, I can't see the council members that, that are with me. If somebody could help me in reading out uh, those members who are present uh, for this hearing. I know we have quorum. Um, could somebody assist me in? Yes, I can quickly read. Uh, Thank you so much. The members. Uh, we're joined by Council Members Cabrera, Chin, Jonai, Gredenchik, Lewis, Perkins, and Rosenthal. Thank you. Uh, I'm assuming that the bill sponsor has a statement. Is he, is he, is he here? Unfortunately, he was unable to join. Okay. So are we just going to have uh, the committee clerk call the roll? Yes. Yes, sir, Mr. Chair, we're good to go. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings, proposed introduction 1760A, Chair Cornegie. I vote aye. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. I vote aye. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Korenchik. Aye. Perkins. Uh, he's here. You vote, Council Member Perkins? Yes. Aye. Vote aye. Thank you, sir. Yes. Joan I. I vote aye. Lewis. I vote aye. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Proposed introduction 1760A has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Uh, thank you, William Martin. Um, that concludes this hearing on housing and buildings.